I am Kat Navarro, and we're here at opening night at of Free Outgoing at East West Players. And I am here with Kavi Ladner, who's one of the talented actresses in this play. She plays multiple characters. You were so amazing in so many different kinds of characters. So tell me what it was like to transition. So much fun. I mean, yeah. to you know, each of those characters are pivotal in terms of moving the story along. Yeah. So, you know, there's it's really important that they're really fleshed out because yeah. they don't live beyond those scenes. But in, for me, they have to, right? So yeah. um, it was, as an actor, just tremendous fun to be able to do multiple roles like that. And they're so different. Um, different hair, different makeup, different clothing, different accents, different bodies. Oh, um, definitely. So much fun. I had to kind of do like a double take at certain points because I'm like, is that the same girl? But yeah, it's so uh, refreshing when you can take a look at an actress and then see her in something else and not even know it's the same person. <laughs> I really appreciate that because I'm still tiny so it's just funny you know to me um, when we did this in Portland originally we had many people coming yeah. up to me and wondering if they were all me um, which I just love that I mean yeah. as an actor that's like dream come true kind of stuff you know definitely to be able to really dig in and jump into multiple roles like that. Yeah and there's there's a lot of funny in this play, but there's also serious moments. And I feel like there's a lot of themes and things that people could relate to in the era that we're in now. So if you could say anything about how you feel like this play relates to present day, what would you, what would you say? Well, you know, the play takes place in India, but I mean, how women are treated as not equal to men, right. um, I think that runs through every country. Yeah. You know, um, if this happened here, it would still be the woman who gets mm -hmm. the brunt of it, you know, and um, and so you know I think what's really important is that men stand up, because until men stand up and say no, this is not okay, yeah. then these kind of things are going to happen, you know, and and it's different, you know, in India there aren't, um, as far as I know, there aren't laws that protect kids from this, you know, yeah. if there's an adult involved and stuff. In this country, we have laws, so if it's right. two kids that go through something like this, you know, they both get charged with it, um, which has its own positives and negatives. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, when something like this happens, who gets blamed? Almost always the woman. Yeah. You know, whereas the man was involved, but, you know, so that doesn't really, that's not just an Indian thing. Right, so it does deal with a lot of issues with it, with the gender and with culture and all of that. Do you feel like it helped you relate to your own culture or made you think of anything from your own childhood? I mean, I was born in India and I came to this country when I was a baby and so I've lived here my whole life, but I've been back multiple times. Yeah. Um, and I've experienced it. I mean, you know, there's, India is an amazing, vast culture. I've always said that I am blessed to have been born there into this tremendous culture and have been raised here mm -hmm. with this opportunity, right? Um, but there is a repressive aspect to that culture that makes it really easy for, um, you know, the, the sexes are very separate in many ways right. and, you know, so that makes it easy for when something like this happens for it to become a spectacle that everyone thinks that they have the right to comment on. Right. It's interesting because I, I was talking to a couple of people in the audience and they were like, why is it, why was it such like a huge thing? And, and you realize that in different cultures, different things mean something on different levels. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, in this culture, people get famous. Of a, of a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe not a, a kid wouldn't, an adult, but still. Right. You know, yeah. and... Um, Right, and in, you know, in Eastern, more, more traditional, conservative cultures, everyone feels like it's their, you know, they have a right to their yeah. opinion, you know? I mean, based on what the playwright told us, who was a journalist at the time when this actually happened, a version of this event happened yeah. for real in India, um, the crowds, the women in their saris, the, wow. the politics, I mean, the politicians, uh, this happened. I mean, it was uh, extreme. But India, as extraordinary as it is, can also be very extreme. <laughs> have you gotten a chance to go back home and visit India? I go back. I have gone back many, many times. It's been quite a few years since I've been, um, and I look forward to going. Hopefully, within the next year. I love India. Thank you 
so much. I feel like it was so in inspiring to see you in the, those different characters and just to be able to watch a story with all these different colors in it. Thank so you. thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here.